Guys, this is just a really quick video, uh, just to talk about video games and the effect that they have on you know your mind and what you can achieve really. And uh, this might sound a bit sort of, uh, I guess, hypocritical because in the past, especially those of you who know me, I, d I do play video games. You know, I have played video games, but really, when you think about it, okay, if you imagine the, the time that you spend playing video games, say if you play even a moderate amount, like one hour a day. You know, a lot, a lot of people spend a lot more than that. They spend sort of five or even six hours a day playing video games. It's, you know, you get back from work at, say, half five, and, you know, you can play till 11, 12 at night, sometimes later. Those hours that you spend playing that game, right, not only does it reinforce a, a dopamine cycle in your brain where you're constantly, you know, looking for that next rush of dopamine, that next achievement or kill or win in a game, which is unhealthy in itself, but it also just takes those hours away from your life. And yeah, you might argue that you enjoy the game. Obviously, they are enjoyable. That's why they're games and that's why people play them. But really, the hours that they take from your life, like you could do so many things with those hours. You could build a business, you could write a book, you could learn, you could read a book, you could learn things, you know, you could learn a language, go out and see your friends, you could go to the gym, you could literally do anything, you could change your life with just those hours alone. Um, and so really, you know, the challenge I want to put forward to you guys today is just to go just one month, just 30 days, without playing video games at all. And just see what you can do, just with those extra hours, just see how many extra things you can do. You know, maybe go to the gym three, four times a week. Maybe go and see your friends once or twice a week, that, you know, more than you would usually have if you were playing games or watching TV and just see what difference it makes because it really does make a big difference um, and I you know I need to take this advice as well myself sometimes because it's easy to fall into the trap of working hard all day and then relaxing with a video game and don't get me wrong I think you know you should relax and enjoy yourself after working but I don't know if video games are the right way of doing that because they're very addictive and as I said they reinforce that dopamine cycle where you're constantly looking for the next achievement, so you can never really feel satisfied. And again, they just take a lot of time. And at the end of that time, you don't really have anything to show for it. I mean, sure, you might have the occasional few, you know, good memories of completing a game or maybe gaming with a friend or something. But most of the time, I'm sure you'll agree with me, the achievements and memories that you have from playing these games, they sort of fade and blur into each other. Compared to, say, a week in a new country doing new things and meeting new people. These experiences, you know, traveling and that sort of stuff is stuff you can't really forget. It's unforgettable. It's life-changing in most cases. Whereas playing a video game for the 10,000th hour, you know, or doing another match of a game that you've played many times before, you know the outcome. You know, you know the feeling that you're going to get. And it, most of the time it doesn't change. It's just the same thing, but, you know, in a different hour of your life. So it's just something to think about and uh, hopefully you enjoy this. By the way, subscribe if you're new here and I'll see you next time.